Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BeerGeekNation.com. Today we're looking at a very special beer, another special beer from Oscar Blues. This is their Rum DBC, 10 point something, they say. Uh, this is their Death by Coconut, aged for six months in rum barrels. Unfortunately, this is a draft room only, whether it be North Carolina or uh, Colorado. You're going to have to go there to get it. Uh, if you do want to try it, really psyched about this one. Death by Coconut. Love that beer. I love coconut and stouts. I just love the flavor of coconut and what it can do uh, for, a really good, for a really good stout, porter, whatever. Uh, Death by Coconut satisfies that craving. So the fact that they added it and aged it in a rum barrel, that sounds awesome. Sounds like it's going to work for it perfectly. Let me get into glass so you guys know what it smells, tastes. Give you the final verdict on the Oscar Blues Rum DBC. I got to the aroma. Yeah, massive coconut. And it's funny, it's hard to tell what's the barrel, what's the beer. Sweet coconut, chocolate, a little bit of coffee, some molasses, maybe some dark fruits in there as well. Vanilla, definitely streaming off this one. Really, really intense smelling beer. All right, guys, to the taste. Cheers. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, coconut. Coconut for days. Natural tasting coconut, not fake at all. Not that fake coconutty candy flavor. Vanilla, toasted oak, definitely getting chocolate, like a milk chocolate in there. Uh, some kind of like coffee bitterness, a little bit of coffee era flavor in there as well, kind of coating the middle of the mouth. Just a ton of coconut. Not too much though, it could go either way. And this one really, really nails kind of the fine line. I was actually a little bit concerned um, aging a beer in a barrel for six months that had coconut in it. You'd think that coconut flavor would drop out, but I mean, maybe a little bit. It's kind of smoothed out. Everything's a little bit more cohesive. Uh, the coconut doesn't quite jump out as much at you, but it's definitely there. And again, it's hard to tell what's the barrel coconut, toasted coconut, what's the, you know, the coconut in the actual beer itself, but it's really good. Vanilla. 10 point whatever it is um, you really don't taste that a little bit of residual sweetness maybe a little bit of heat in the chest but very very little i will say my one kind of criticism is it feels a little bit thin especially for a 10 percent beer um, i got to have their rum barrel 1050 and that thing drank like motor oil this just seems a little bit thin but still a very very good beer All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Oscar Blues Rum Death by Coconut, 10%-ish something. Uh, again, unfortunately, you're going to have to get this one at the draft room, either or the tap room, either in uh, Colorado or North Carolina. You're going to have to get it there. It doesn't come in cans. This is a crowler uh, that they actually sent it to me in. It's an awesome beer. Going to get an A-. minus. Um, I don't like it as much as the 1050, but specifically for the one thing, this beer just seems a little bit thin. I don't know what it is. It just seems a little bit thin to me, maybe a little bit watery, uh, but the flavors are spot on. Tons of coconut, toasted coconut, vanilla, that barrel, that sweet kind of rummy spiciness is in there. Plays off the beer very well. It's a very well-crafted beer. Um, it's just a little bit thin. That, that's my only criticism, and it's kind of nitpicking. It's still an A- minus beer, still fantastic stuff, still definitely worth seeking out. So getting an A- minus from me. Remember, folks, slice too short. Drink amazing beers. If you can, please click the Support Beer Geek Nation logo right up there. Cheers, guys.